and were captured and made as slaves to serve the first three at that time I think really meant classes the fourth one is called the Shudras they are in fact the slaves of the three upper castes so the first three castes are called the upper castes and the fourth one is the Shudra or a slave but that doesn't end the story there the people who fought with these Aryans but could not withstand and ran off into the jungles are called the tribals and even today you can see tribals in India if you go and look at them you wouldn't distinguish them from any other African in Africa every features the curly hair, the big lips and everything dark color, dark skin in between the guys did not run away the guys did not surrender but kept fighting all the time ultimately they, the Aryans took these people as slaves but they are so furious because these people did not surrender like the Shudras and they said okay you guys are going to punish you and we are going to call you as untouchables because we can touch you because if we touch you we will we'll pollute ourselves and we are going to designate the kind of jobs which are called polluting jobs cleaning the street cleaning the bathrooms carrying the dead animals and everything which goes along is called polluting or filthy and then we are going to make you to live away from this town, away from the villages segregated these are called the outcast or untouchables this is initially started as a kind of a class system and I want to make sure we clearly understand the difference between class and caste there is a big difference a lot of people do not understand or if you talk to a lot of Indians walking around here either they do not understand or they purposely lie to you okay they do. There, is, there, is a, there is a valley and a, and a hill difference between the word caste and class so this started as a class system but then the Aryans worried about their purity of their race they wanted to make sure that they have no more intermingling between these castes so the Brahmins can control them better they wanted to keep those people within the two walls or the four walls were how can we do that we need to make sure there is no cross breeding that's the first thing we want to do how can we do that we are going to introduce religion that's the best way you want to subjugate somebody you introduce religion <laughs> and these Aryans were so smart in, in an obnoxious way they invented a religion they invented two words one word is called Dharma the other word is called Karma Dharma is Dharma means um, kind of a you know you, you, you do what the God says you got to do Okay. so what he says the God says this is your job God tells you this is the job you got to do why if, if a guy says why I have to uh, be a carpenter why can't I be the priest then he comes around and tells you that is because of your karma what is karma you did something bad in your last life so the God is punishing you this life okay but that that doesn't stop right there either you better not question that again why you are in that position if you question you will make the God angry and sec next life you are going to be worse than this very smart people extremely smart people so everybody did their job with a smiling face it doesn't matter what the job is agreeing to be a slave enjoying the slavery so that's what we call in India the, where, where India where the slaves enjoy slavery 
because they think they are serving God. But it took 3,000 years for me to get up and say, which God? Let me find out which God is. Who, who made me be an untouchable? Yeah. Tell me what I did in my last life. I sure want to find out. <laughs> okay. I sure want to talk to that God. Maybe I'll shoot him. <laughs> because I know the life of an untouchable in India. But what these Aryans did, they made us completely dumb, completely ignorant, completely illiterate, completely poor, completely weak in every sense of the word for 3,000 years. We can study, we can read, we can rewrite, we can't even, uh, our women cannot even cover their body. And we cannot even wear any dress like the other man. I'll go back later on and read some of the scriptures, which is the holy books of Hindu holy books, where it says an untouchable, the dress of an untouchable has to be the dress of the dead corpus. That is, the holy book says that. The Hindu holy book says that. And, and these people are supposed to eat only from broken parts. So when they have systematically made these people for so long, they completely accepted their faith, so-called faith. I said, well, obviously I've done such a bad life, thing in my last life. I have no choice. So I might as well hope for better life in next next life, better things in next life, or maybe better life and for my child in my next, next life. So let me faithfully follow my dharma. So I don't even have a mind to question as to why I am an untouchable and this guy sits on top of the hill. <coughs> okay. It took three, four thousand years for us to even think about it. Okay. This is what is called Varna Shrama Dharma, which is Varna means color. In san Sanskrit, the word Varna is color. So the, the religion today is called Hinduism. The name, the original name is not Hinduism. It is either called Brahminism, Brahmin, Brahminism, meaning that you accept Brahmin as a superior. That is the name of the religion. Or Varna Shrama Dharma, meaning, you know, I sold a Dharma. The Dharma is the, the job that you do, designated by God. And that, that job is due to your Varna. So, Varna Shrama Dharma. So, this is the name of the religion. Till 9th century AD, when the Persians ran into India, they saw the river the Sindh river, the Indus Valley civilization, which is the river called Sindh, they said, well, this is Sindh river, so this place called Sindh, but they can't pronounce yes somehow. They couldn't pronounce yes. So they called them Hind. Then they said, everybody who lived in this part of the country called Hindus. For them, everybody other than who followed Islam were Hindus. Even though an untouchable who is an outcast, because be an, be, to be a Hindu, you got to have a caste. If you are an outcast, obviously you don't have a caste. If you do not have a caste, you can't be a Hindu. But for the purposes of the Brahmins and the other upper caste, it is for their advantage to call the untouchables as Hindus. So they can faithfully, obey, obediently do your job. So they called them as Hindus. And the untouchables, not knowing what's going on, agreed if we are also Hindus. Except I can't go into their temples, I cannot go into the streets where the upper caste live, except to clean their bathrooms. Okay? So we were the outcasts. When the British came, they, obviously the purpose of the British who came there 
to conquer and to rob the country. That's what they did. And obviously, the Brahmins were the...